Let's get salty! Hearthstone launched in 2014 and has been played by millions of players. And most of those players have had to obey different rules within the game that are pretty straightforward and explained throughout your playthrough experience, in particular the tutorial, where you learn that you gain a mana crystal after each turn until each player hits 10 mana. You must attack the minion with taunt before you attack the enemy hero. A minion must survive on the board for one turn before it can act, unless of course it has charge or rush. But did you know that there are many unwritten rules in the history of Hearthstone, a list that has grown larger and larger with each passing expansion. In this video, we tackle some of the most unknown, the most obscure, unwritten rules of Hearthstone. And if you enjoy the style of content on the channel, please hit that sub button down below. Give the video a like as we are still on that road. 69,420 subs. So let's take a look at the unwritten rules of Hearthstone. One of the most commonly unknown things about Hearthstone are how long each turn is. And well, each player gets exactly 75 seconds per turn. Although animations can make that last a little bit longer, there's actually extra time granted to a player watching animations called a slush time, but on average, 75 seconds per turn, unless it's the first turn, which is considerably shorter, making turn one OTKs something that it will be pretty hard to pull off, even if your first name is Mark. Games also don't go forever. They are 45 turns long, 45 turns for each player to be exact, 90 total, and when that limit is hit no matter what the board state is no matter what the hell both heroes will explode and the game will end in a draw doesn't happen too often unless you used to play control warrior back when that was a deck in the game but it is a pretty rare occurrence one of the earliest unrecorded rules of hearthstone was attached to the card for druid called wild growth a two mana at the time two mana spell that would grant an empty mana crystal however if you cast the spell while having full mana crystals that being 10 or after the card guff was introduced 20 or audio amplifier giving you 11 this spell would actually grant you excess mana a zero mana spell that would allow you to draw a card giving you use of this otherwise useless card the same unwritten rule applies also to pilfered power and overgrow shaman has a very odd and peculiar rule that it must follow as long as it has a regular hero power its hero power allows the player to summon a totem whether it be a healing totem, a searing totem. But did you know that if all four totems are on the board, the shaman's hero power no longer works. You cannot summon more than the four basic totems with your starting hero power. Why? Who knows? but it is quite odd that it's still like this in 2023. Discover was added into the League of Explorers and at first had no rules bound to it. However, that has grown over time. Discover cards, which give you three options to pick from, cannot create themselves. So if you have, let's say a Renew, that Renew cannot create another Renew. A similar rule was put in place for Dragon Queen Alexstrasza, which could create Dragon Queen Alexstrasza, which is another card that no longer can create itself and most cards abide by this hearthstone rule to this day the echo mechanic was introduced during the witch would which allow you to repeat a card as many times as you want in that turn as long as you have the mana for it there was no restriction on this until snip snap was created and with the combination of summoning portal and mech warper would allow it to go to zero magneticize to any mech you wanted and create infinite stats as a result the keyword echo was changed, although not documented in game, to not allow any other echo card to ever drop below one, so therefore never being able to cost zero, no matter how many discounts were active, which is another rule present today that you would have no idea about. Zephyrus was introduced during the Saviors of Old Doom, a card that would grant you the perfect card you could choose from either the classic or basic set. But an unwritten rule with the card is that you could not discover a Shadow Step or a youthful brewmaster, any card that will allow you to bounce it back into your hand, effectively going infinite in certain situations. Some people have noted the unwritten rule is that it never gives you the proper card, but I assure you that a lot of the times 
it will give you that perfect card. Be warned, it will never give you Plate Breaker as that is not part of the core or basic set. While opening your Hearthstone packs, you might notice that no matter what, every 40 packs, you seem to open up a legendary card and that is because there is a pity timer hidden within the game that ensures you open a legendary card in every 40 packs. And that also applies to golden legendaries and signature cards which were recently introduced that are guaranteed to be opened in one in 361 packs, making them pretty darn rare. A dragon for Druid printed the scent of dragons, a Yesera, created dream portals that would shuffle into your deck that could spawn a dragon, such as Nor's Dormu, that would speed up the turn and well, it could kind of make things break and skip turn which resulted in the unwritten rule that Ysera could no longer produce Nuzdormu from Dream Portals, which is another rule that is still present to this day. Colossal minions were introduced in Voyage to the Sunken City, but the devs were a little bit wary of these minions as they're very big, powerful, could create large branches of other minions, and well, if you evolved or devolved into one of these things, that would probably be too good, so an unwritten rule with these cards is that if you play a devolve or evolve effect, transforming your other minions to, to a minion of another random cost, it could not create a colossal minion, which outside of one pesky little bug with blazing transmutation has stayed true to this day. Hearthstone has many modes, including the arena, but did you know if an arena game happens to hit a draw, say you somehow get to that 45 turn limit, or you both die to a hellfire, a fell fire at the same time, neither player will be awarded a win or a loss. It's like the game never happened. With the most recent expansion launch, the Festival of Legends, we saw many legendary spells introduced into the game. However, two of them, one for Rogue, one for Deathlight, and Bounce Around, featuring Garona and Climatic Necrotic Explosion, respectively, are the only legendary spells not discoverable by any cards in the game. You cannot generate them, you cannot discover them. They are exempt from the discover rule, as the devs were a little bit scary. They might be a little bit too good if you discover them. However, both to this day aren't exactly the biggest powerhouses on ladder. Have you ever tuned into a, let's say a salty Hearthstone achievement hunter and noticed this legend player was facing, I don't know, a silver player, a bronze player? That is because there is hidden MMR matchmaking rating that is actually what pairs up other players. A rank one legend player has the highest MMR unless let's say there is a player that hasn't yet hit legend that has a higher MMR would actually be better than them. And since since rankings are hidden outside of legend, you never know while you're climbing the ladder, playing a diamond or gold or silver or whatever you may be at, you might actually be facing a top tier legend player. And with this information, this very valuable, not so useless information, hopefully it can take that into your next Hearthstone games, utilize these rules and maybe bend them a little in your favor to climb that ladder. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day and stay salty, my friends.